Tallahassee has strong ties to black history. I'm Terry Gilliam in Tallahassee's downtown neighborhood where historical photos like these have been captured throughout the years. Now, two people from the capital city are launching this new virtual way to honor the progress that's been made. What we want when people come in is to say, wow. And what we want to hear when they leave is wow. The nation's first all virtual civil rights museum launches in the capital city. Two Tallahasseans came up with the idea. This is a forever project, and that's what makes me feel good. Jacqueline Perkins is the co-executive director of the Florida Civil Rights Museum, a virtual museum designed to recognize and share the accomplishments of pioneers in the civil rights movement. It was a three-year journey, finally becoming a reality Thursday. We had a very, very um, tumultuous uh, period here during the civil rights movement. That's founder and co-executive director of Florida Civil Rights Museum, Delatry Hollinger. I found these photos from historical archives. They show the demonstrations held in Tallahassee in the 1960s. Now, Hollinger says the focus of the virtual museum is to not only share accomplishments, but share that history for upcoming generations. That's been my concern for years. Um, how do we preserve this history so that our young people will know? Not only so that they will know, but so that they will grow from it and be inspired by it. It's something that Perkins thinks will be the start of something new. It doesn't end, it begins. The two co-founders plan to expand the virtual museum all across the state of Florida. In Tallahassee's downtown neighborhood, Terry Gilliam, ABC 27.